I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So no, he's not in the building? I what do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm gonna do you hit now. me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture, then. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Chicago, Illinois, where we find our frauditor goat boy, aka Anthony Lopez, aka Kim Tactic, aka Jack Wagon, as he makes more phone calls from the privacy of his grandmother's home. Yeah, I must have inherited that because, man, that's some old furniture in there, boy. I tell you what, you should buy some new furniture. You know what the word contemporary means? Contemporary. Yes, at any rate, ah, he's going to sort out the Bezos from the Cessors and get some identiture. No doubt about it. Let's all sit back, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy, go boy! Yes, good afternoon. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Who? So, yep, this call is being monitored and recorded. I need the clerk's email address, please. And who is this calling? I am a, a member of the public. Okay, and why? What do you need? Yeah, did you hear what, what I asked for? <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Well, I guess that collar was a bezo, huh, you bozo? Do you feel dizzy? Do you feel faint? Well, you might be having chest pains, boy. You better go to the hospital. call back. That's a good way to start it off. The number you are trying to call is busy. Okay, we'll call back. So I'm wondering if that clerk will be labeled a Bezo or a Cesser. Yeah, hmm. What do you think, good people? Leave me a comment there and uh, let me know what you think. Would it be a Bezo or a Cesser? Yeah, it's sad. It's sad. Thank you for calling. Unbelievable. Yes, Teresa. Good afternoon. This call is being monitored and recorded. I need the clerk's email address, please. Who is this? I am a member of the public. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Don't pay any attention to this idiot. He's a Cesser. He's a Bezo. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He just wants to waste your time, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am. Um, can I have your name, please? I just need the clerk's email, please.
Yes, I am a member of the public. I need the transparent clerk's email, please. Okay, can I have your name, please? I prefer not to provide a name at this time. The email is for official business. Okay, well, you'll have to call her back um, tomorrow when she's here, then. I'd like to speak to somebody other than you, then, because uh, you're of no assistance. Oh, what's the matter, Bezo the Clown? They're not treating you right today? The Cessors and the Bezos, oh, they're being so mean to you. I bet you're going to file some complaints. I bet you're going to do an entire file on these people and figure out what they've been doing their entire career. Try to ruin them. Is that what you're going to do, you Bezo? Do you have a general email for the village hall? No. Is there a reason why you fail to provide the clerk's email? She hung up. Thank you. Let me mark that down. Yes, good afternoon. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? My name is Cassandra. Cassandra, this call is being monitored and recorded. I need the city clerk's yeah, email address, please. I'm sorry, you do not have my consent to record this call. Okay, Anthony, so you've been put on notice that you don't have consent to record this call. And since Illinois is a two-party consent state, you should now hang up or stop recording. Oh, but Anthony knows everything because he's a FOIA master. Whatever the hell that is. I need the village clerk's email. And you do not have my consent to record this call. What's your name? My name's Cassandra. That's right, okay. The yeah. The village clerk. Okay. Anthony Sidak. Yeah, you can go ahead and put somebody else on the phone. You notice how Anthony just ignores the fact that the woman is not consenting to recording this conversation. He thinks he knows everything. Oh, I'm telling you, I am going to have the biggest party of my life with all my good friends online when we expose this yahoo. We're going to have a party like it's 1999, except it's going to be what? 2099, I guess. I don't know. Oh, that's going to be a good time, I can tell you that. Bigger than the New Year's Eve celebration on Times Square. There's nobody else here. Okay, I just need the clerk's email. Clerk at hannacityil.com Let me write that down. Clerk at hannacityil.com Dot com. Okay, this call is being monitored and recorded, and there's 1,200 people listening in right now. And once again, for the third time, you do not have my consent to record this call. I don't need your consent. You're a public employee. Illinois is a two-party consent state. That does not mean that doesn't that doesn't apply to this Illinois case. Is a this is not a private. Not this is not a private conversation. This is a okay, public conversation. Anthony sounds like he's getting a bit upset. What's the matter with you, sweetheart? Oh, he wants to talk to Jeff Bezo. Oh, that's where he got the Bezo from. Talking about old Jeff Bezo. Maybe he wants to be like Jeff. You want to be like Jeff? Or you want to be like Uncle Borat? Hang up. Be rude. Two-party consent state only applies to a private conversation. This is a public conversation. Rude right off the bat. What did she say her name was? Two-party consent does not apply to this. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make a short out of that audio that we just witnessed. And I'm going to apply the two-party consent bullshit that she's spewing. And I'm going to prove that it does not apply to this phone call as I am speaking to a transparent government employee for official business. It does not apply in this case. 
That's not what it says here, Anthony. It just says that uh, in some circumstances, now I don't know what the some circumstances would be. Maybe it's a uh, client privilege. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're in the wrong here, boy. Ooh, you're the FOIA auditor and you effed up. Oh my goodness gracious. Besides that, the two-party bullshit she's talking about I read that several times. It does not apply to this case. That only applies in a private conversation. You really think she herself in her official capacity is going to start a civil litigation against me because she said the simple words I don't consent to this phone call being recorded. <laughs> the stupidity of some people. Well, I'm going to end it there for today, folks, because there's only so much of that nonsense that I can listen to. Yeah, oh my gosh, my head hurts. Oh, I'm going to have to do something to get rid of this headache because that boy really presses my buttons. Bezo the Clown. I'm going to start calling him, let's see, Prodigy Goat Boy, the Bezo Clown. Yeah, I like that name, Goat Boy, Bezo the Clown. Well, at any rate, my good friends, if you enjoy watching this moron, along with other idiots and imbeciles on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks for stopping by, Goat Boy from Kazakhstan. Have you milked your goats today? You didn't do anything funny with them, did you, boy? I tell you to get a job, and I think you're unemployable. Cheers to that, sweetheart. And order in his book. Yep, that's correct. Say it, come again. Hey, is there any reason why these uh, officers are here? I got permission. Sir, you cannot film me here. Because the information you're providing is unlawful. I don't want you to film, film me. Call the sheriff. I have permission. You can't, no, I don't you want don't you to have film me. Don't get close to me. All. You want to go that route? What is the reason for calling the officers here? I want to know what your job title is to see if you're able to assist. Who are you? Who am I? Who's the one who called the officers in the first place? Because this, this may become a legal suit now. This is transparency. I'm conducting an audit. Why, I, why oh, I wait for the clerk to show me the statue about freedom of information, I need to do an inspection on the town city uh, zoning and ordinances book. I have permission. I have permission. I have permission to film here, sir. Ma'am, please ask your superior before disrespecting somebody of the public. Where's the water department for uh, this town? Don't yell. I'm talking to you softly. Why are you yelling at me? Sir, please stop recording me. Okay, I need to do please, an inspection. I understand that. Please stop recording me right now. You do not have my permission to record me. Okay, is your facility not open to the public? Not currently. Not currently, okay. okay. Okay, can you comply with my request? Where's your water department? Ma'am, you're totally wrong. This will be. Sir? This will become a legal matter. If you choose sir. to go this route, should I go over FOIA law with you? No, I don't need to see that. Show me the statue. Sir? Can you show me the statue? Sir. Who are you? Wait. What do you mean, who am I? Who are you with? What do you mean? I have the right to record, ma'am. I have permission here with me. I'll be waiting for the statue. Thank you. I'll be waiting for the book, sir. Ma'am, this is going to turn out a legal matter. Okay, sir. This is going to become a legal matter. Please comply. Pass. I got a pass. Along with, uh, an inspection on the zoning and town zoning and ordinances book. I'm gonna be conducting uh, some business here. I'm gonna be recording it. Ma'am, it's up to you, ma'am. There may be a suit in the court of law for non-compliance. What do you mean, who I'm with, ma'am? I, I don't know what you. I don't know what you want. I don't know why you're giving me a hard time or a bad attitude. In order to do an inspection on a book readily available. Hi, right, ma'am. What's your first name? How can I help you, sir? Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me what's your first name? Who are you? The budget book, ma'am. I, I need do, to do. I don't have. If you want to have a seat, I'll. Have sure, it. that's fine. Ma'am, I have permission to film. I have permission. Mm -hmm. I have permission here. Well, you see, the thing is, my good man. Anyhow, compliance is the key, folks. Where does it state that? Ma'am, I need stamp copies of these FOIA here. Uh, can I help you? Yeah, sure, possibly. I'm acting as press, ma'am. First Amendment. And I also have permission here with me. Okay, ma'am, you also have to abide by 26, uh, 2635.101, basic obligations of public service. Sir, this does the accord, I'm abiding by the statutes. It does not require a name 
in order to obtain records. Okay, well, you're, you're, you're talking unlawful. You're talking incorrect. That is not true what you just stated. Come again. Very rude. I'm not rude. You it all shows on rude. camera. You're the one who's rude. Um, well, anyhow. No one really cares. No one really cares. Uh, an inspection, if I wanted to take digital photocopies. No, you cannot. Absolutely, I can. No, Please comply with the law. Are you refusing service? Just tell me you're refusing service. Hand me over your business card and you will be hearing from my lawyer. If you go ahead and record, that means you're creating a public record and you cannot delete that off your personal phone. Your personal phone becomes a public record. That's fine. I'll record. Okay. Well, sir, there's options to conduct business in person. You can't refer everybody to online. I'm not going to refuse my identification. However, I have not committed any crime. You cannot articulate that I have broken a law. Here's what I will tell you. Here's what I will tell you. Ma'am, there's no expectation of privacy in public. You could just call me sir. I'd like to file a police report of non-compliance about a employee that works here. Sir, I don't answer any questions. You don't respect me. Why would So therefore, I'm not obligated to provide any identification in this matter. Did you talk about my wife? <laughs> what does my wife have to do with anything? No, I'm not uh, providing an address, ma'am. I'm doing a general inspection. What does my wife... Why put up a, a picture and say that's my wife of a, of, a, okay. of a goat? Not in my uniform, however, I do have my clipboard with me. That is not lawful what you told me. We're, we're going to have a ball at your, uh, at your cemetery. We're going to bring you a rose, okay? We're going to bring you a rose and we're going to say you were dishonorable. He's attached to the Alpha David, so he's part of the enterprise. You drew first blood. Just like you do with all these auditors, you draw first blood. In the next three days, I'm going to have a criminal enterprise um, community section, and it's going to be real well detailed. I got an attorney that's helping me draft it up and write it up. Scumbag. You're just a plain scumbag, man. You you, you want to say a why, You're a piece why of I'm upset and stuff. And we're going to prove that you are breaking U.S. code. If I really wanted to be petty, I would take you to court. Fuck you and your mammy.